falling in love with the world again. Because we have to fall in love with the world the way it is. We can't be fucking, it's just going to completely destroy us if we keep, you know, wanting the world to be what it was. It's never going to be that way. When I was five years old, there were two billion people, now there are eight. So I don't know what we're expecting. We have to, we have to understand there are more people, we have to get along better, good lord, I don't know. I'm going to read some of these poems from this ritual. I'll show you what they look like. These are some of the newer ones. I have um, some broadsides over here, free ones, if anybody wants them. And so this one I'm going to read is called Encircling This Day with Centipede Coordination. And it starts off with Dear Eileen, and that Eileen is Eileen Miles. Uh, the poet Eileen Miles, I don't know if you know who she is, but uh, they are. She's go, they go by Daniel. Eileen is um, a queer superhero to me. When I was a teenager, I saw them out in um, New York City, and they were kind of gruff with me at first. They were like, what do you want from me? And we're having fun, and I was like, and I just started crying at one point. Just, what? What's going on? And I was like, starting to talk about this friend of mine who was literally dying that week of AIDS, and um, she, I think, got it, and started talking about all her friends who were dying at the same time. And, and I think it was there for me all the, like, I just, you know, I was like this poor kid from the country who moved to the city, uh, the jaws of that city are remain horrific at times. And, you know, I was uh, evicted at one point, and Eileen found this grant to send to you for, it was originally created for Bernadette Mayer, this um, grant, so Philip Whalen grant, so I was able to, like, get an apartment. That's the kind of magical things Eileen does. Encircling this day was sent to be coordination. Dear Eileen, have we sunk the shine? The maintenance man at this place asked if I needed help relaxing tonight. <laughs> I told him to throw my door open when everyone and he fucking did it. When men do as I say, it saves so much time. <laughs> he prolonged a certain mediation of reality, a day when my pronoun choice is uppity cunt. I imagine nine things close my eyes until they are connected. After moving around for years, I knew if I rested, to lay his filthy hand against my chest. Little critter under my tires. Road kept changing to armadillos. Tell a lie to steal time for this poem. Some days there is no problem. And that is tenet, it's terrifying. Let's not get used to that. Let's stop believing that. My Capricorn horns digging pits in the earth, a surplus of pits to bury what may not want to let go. Cars feeding crows, coyotes, vultures. He asked if poetry could possibly fulfill me, but it is the study of everything. I hate when people ask me shit like that.